So my name is Sean Kirchman. I've been working here at the Grand Rapids Fish Hatchery for two and a half years now. So we're at the production floor and this is where we raise all of our sturgeon. Currently, we have 1,500 fish that we've kept for about 10 months now. Pretty much through the year, it's sort of the same in the sense that we're feeding, we're cleaning, and we're just trying to raise the healthiest fish possible. Of course, it's amazing that we can have renewable energy in Manitoba, but it's not without a cost. One of those costs is the disruption and, and loss of fish habitat. So we're trying here to restock lake sturgeon, which are a threatened species. So the, the lake sturgeon, we have some different populations in our facility right now. So we have some that are gonna be stocked to Landing River, and we also have stocking up in Kias. So there's been studies, of course, that show that stocking works with other types of fish, but we wanna know if it's working with lake sturgeon. So we insert pit tags into the fish before they're released. They can just scan the fish really quick, see if it has a pit tag in it, and then that way they know if it's a fish that survived. And they'll give us the information of what the number is for the pit tag, and we can say, oh wow, that's a three-year-old fish. We stocked that several years ago. And that's a good signal that what we're doing is working. What led to me becoming a fish culturist, I was always interested in the, the aquatic life and every day I'd, I'd want to go out on the water and fish and, and just learn more about nature. When I was in high school, I, I loved to keep aquariums and that's where I sort of learned about water quality and really observing uh, fish for, for their behavior and their health. My, my passion has evolved, but it's led to an education in marine biology. The, the legacy that, that you leave behind, these fish are gonna be 100 years old. They're gonna be alive while I'm in my grave. They also have a cultural significance to First Nations people here. I'd love to be part of bringing back a healthy stock. You know what I love about this place is that it's something that I've been pursuing for my young adult life and it's incredible to be working with a species that so many people in Manitoba have never seen. And even for me, I never saw a lake sturgeon. They're sort of this mysterious fish and here we are at the hatchery and there's there's 1,500 fish here and, and we're soon opening a visitor center so I'm really excited to be putting on tours for people that are interested in learning about lake sturgeon.